Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome back to WMD Garage. Today I just want to show a little video about the spotless rinse I set up for my car. I had always had issues with spots on my car when I was washing it because, as you can see, I have absolutely zero shade to wash my car in. So after I found out that you could do a deionized water rinse for your car, I looked at options that are commercially available, and they're all at least $400, and I was like, mm, that's too much money because all the pieces they're using are just commercially off-shelf parts. So this is what I set up. When I first started looking into spotless rinse for the car with deionized water, I came across systems similar to these. Nothing against this specific one, but they're all about the same in the $400 range. And that was just too much for my purposes. So I got to looking at the pieces and parts of it, and I figured out that this base is just a resin water holding tank similar to any water softener. The head of these, just to get the water coming in, goes down through the media and there's a tube that goes down through the media with a head at the bottom and a filter. It goes through that, up the tube, and out the exit to whatever you need. In this case, I've got a quick connect over to my pressure washer. So my water here is pretty terrible for spots, which is what led me down this entire rabbit hole. <coughs> So right now, the water is coming in here, going through this bypass, out here, and then out to this cup. And as you can see, it's pretty terrible. Usually it's in the mid 300s, if not 400. To turn on the filter system, you turn off the shutoff to the bypass here and turn it on through this filter and then down through the deionized media. Some will have to be purged out, but it really shouldn't take very long. That's probably all it takes. And then we'll fill up the cup again. And then take another reading. Two parts per million from 300 plus, not bad. Anyway, the off-the-shelf versions of this are minimum $400, and I source the parts just like the empty resin tank, the resin, the hat, the tube, everything. And I was getting to be about $350, $400 just in parts, so if you have to buy them new, it's not worth the time and effort it would take to assemble this yourself. So I went down the rabbit hole of looking at media tanks used. And you can get a full-size one, you know, three foot tall, but then it's just going to take more media. So just for this test to make sure it was going to work, I, I specifically searched out an RV water softener. And that's, that's what this is. I have no, no affiliation to this brand or anything like that. It's just, it's just a tank that I found. You can usually pick them up used for anywhere between $50 and free. So you could get a bigger tank and not fill it all the way full with resin if, you, if that's what you wanted to go for. This tank took about half of one of the boxes of resin that's 45 ish pounds and costs right around 200 dollars i opted to go for this first test with rejuvenated resin from servipure uh it's just a little bit cheaper and as you can see it works just fine i've done let's see one two three four five six car washes with it so far and we're still creating deionized water so i think this is working pretty well it definitely works on the rinse for the car and not having spots. Uh, what I do is I use a turtle wax ceramic car wash, which makes the water bead really well. And then when I'm done, rinse with the deionized water and then just use a Ego leaf blower to blow the water off so that there's no spots. Overall, pretty happy with the system. I'll link some pieces and parts down in the description because this has been game changer on being able to wash my cars with no shade out here. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. See you. Well, that's not good. <laughs>